chest frame. Playing the extra dimensionals. So we have 40 cards in the deck. Okay. I don't know it's good, but you know, it's been a long time since I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I have some very good memories. Attack with except the zombie monsters. probably see my uh, things here yeah. right so let, let me put my here my mug here and uh, then you, you cannot see the descriptions of this uh,
I'm not gonna accept this. To activate uh, my card, okay. So she banished her. Another level. Oh, he wants to summon, yeah, stuff. Target one and send it to the chief or Huge 
Yes, this kind of allows him to summon basically all three stuff. Set up a combination with the next line. Okay, it has only one card. I'm gonna lose a lot of life points regardless. This card, yeah. Hey Logic, what's up? This is Yugi. Ooh, dude, what do you mean you don't know this game? Yeah, I should have picked the Air Knight for Shas. Uh, damn. Alright, I lost this one. Uh, this is Yugi. Ooh, new, new game. It came out in January. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can do a lot of things here. Yeah. Alright, I'm I'm in, I'm actually gold uh, level. Uh, and since I'm playing this game anyway, uh, yes, you build deck of cards correctly. You build deck of cards. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a heavy brain usage. Of, a, lot of, a lot of possible decks, a lot of possible combinations. Alright, so I'm going second because sometimes when I go first, you know, I after last time I played this game was like 10 years ago, maybe more. It was 2007, 2009. Uh, yeah, so a lot of new decks, a lot of new stuff, and there is, they just change summon stuff, yeah, it's just impossible to play. I mean, you can lose on uh, just, you make one move, and then you, uh, you, your opponent starts to chain summon, 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 and he wins, and, you know, the, at the end of the chain summoning, he gets an 8k, 9k monster attack, and he just uh, kills you in one move. It's, it's not a lot of fun, but what can you do here? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this! You need to know all the cards, correct? Look at this! He got all the... Uh, he got uh, three monsters, yeah? In the old Yu-Gi-Oh! You don't get so many... Uh, so many cards to summon on the first turn, yeah? Now look at this, he summoned already uh, three monsters Two monsters, uh, star five, and uh, one fusion monster, yeah? And he summoned yet another monster. 
You see, and, and they all have effects and they still chain summoning. Yeah, this is the problem with this game, unfortunately. Yeah, this is the only thing I don't like, because, uh, you know, they just chain, chain, summon, summon, and uh, you're not... Yeah, they, they ruin this game because, uh, you know, in one move you can summon four or five monsters. I think this is wrong, yeah? The old Yu-Gi-Oh, the very first one that I played, you got lucky if you can summon, like, you know, two monsters, yeah? That's the maximum you could summon. There is a whole game, and look at this. He has five monsters on the board. This is ridiculous. Yes. When this card is special summon, you can add galaxy monster from your deck to your hand. You see, they're just uh, adding all those uh, cards. Where you adding cards from your deck to your hand endlessly. Yeah. This card gains until the end of the turn. You can special summon. Pay for play? No, it's free. This game is free, but it's just so cheap. It's amazing. I mean, it's only... See, it's the first turn, and I haven't made a move yet, yeah? He spent two minutes summoning and summoning and resummoning. He spent two, two minutes, and uh, he, he keeps summoning uh, stronger and stronger monsters. And it's still his move, yeah? Look at this, see? Well, I just don't have an uh, answer to all these... Uh, all these things. And they can probably change something, yeah? Oh, this card, by the way, which he summoned, it can um, detach one material from the card and negate the activation and he can destroy any of my cards. Wonderful. So that's after, after, you know, summoning four monsters, he summons the monster which can negate the activation of your counterplay. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. See? He summoned four monsters, including one of them which can negate basically your counterplay. Whatever you do. This is ridiculous, of course. But... Ridiculous, but what can you do? Yes. And he can just basically kill me, yeah? And what does this do? What does this card do? Destroy any cool number of cards your opponent controls. Banish cyber dragons with different levels. If this card on the field is destroyed, add one cyber spell trap. Oh, you can add more stuff. Nice. Wonderful. Okay, I, I just uh, resigned because this is ridiculous. Because this is this is BS. Yeah. This is. Yeah, I hate I hate this new decks. Um, but okay, what can you do? Yeah. Go for stalemate. Yeah. I don't want to play these guys, you know, who summon, 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 summon for the first five minutes. I, I don't want to play them, guys. I want to play guys that 
Just play like me, old uh, style decks. Yeah. Uh, that's the kind of game I'm looking for. Yeah, I was experimenting with the Helios, um, I'm not so sure I like it, yeah. I'm not so sure I like it. You can build your own cars, you can buy them with the uh, with this uh, material, which you win when you win some. Wait, is this another guy, which is chain summoning? Magician Circle is a continuous card, yeah? And they can add Dark Magicians, and they keep adding stuff, yes, very nice. So they add the card, now with that card you can add another card, and it continues, it continues, it continues. Look at this. Get another card. What does this card do? Alright, let's see what does this card do. You can set Eternal Soul directly from your deck. Oh yeah, 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 he, they, they're getting everything, yeah? Yeah, they, they, they just getting everything. Wow, amazing. If you control a spell card, your opponent cannot activate spell card. Another guy who spent uh, one minute to summon all the stuff, and I don't think I have a lot of counterplay. Yeah? Wait, why did I put it here? Does it do? He's thinking, yeah. Actually, I should have just blocked it in a set position. Anyway, I'm not thinking straight. Yes, correct Mr. Weed Deficit, uh, correct, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Ritual summons was the most complex thing you can do, exactly. That's what I'm missing. Yeah, now he has one card. He's gonna do something I hear. Except what he can do. Wait, can I hit this guy? You can add Dark Magician from your hand. During damage calculation, if you add a dark spell cast but also the opponent monster, you can send this card from your hand. Okay. Fine. Mm. Yeah. 
I remember the old days, you know, those days you had to really build the deck. Oh my god, I have sudden judgment, oh my god, this is, this is bullshit. And he's got so many judgment cards. That sucks. I just completely negated all my counter play. Yeah? I need to probably get rid of this Helios and uh, bring back the other two cards which I had. Yeah, and this, and this card goes live. See, with this trap card, every Dark Magician in your monster zone is not affected by your opponent card effects. Beautiful, beautiful little trap card which basically makes all his monsters immune. And then he summoned all these guys with some other cards, yeah? Amazing card. Okay. Alright, just play with yourself, man. I mean, you spend 5 minutes uh, shuffling cards, it's not what I want to play. But okay, let's edit deck. So this is not working for me. And so we're gonna remove this. Remove this. Because I was trying to test these cards and I don't think they work well for me. Okay. So we need something like Dust Tornado, yeah? To remove all his uh, cards. Um, this is only one, right? It's limited to one. Alright, let's see. Yes, we have this. Hmm. How many of these cards can I have? Maybe I can have one more, yeah? Oops. Can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. Okay, so let's make it. Generate it. So we can make second card. Mm. What is this? One free pull from the Guardians. Uh, return. What is this? Okay, we have some deck, suppose the super secret deck, cards from the sky. Banish one light fairy monster in your hand and if you do, draw two cards. I don't think I need it with this deck. What about this one? Oh, this is interesting, Solemn Strike. Negate the summon or activation if you do destroy the card. Okay, sounds useful. Mm. It doesn't sound useful to me. Okay, but okay, let's make a free pool. Let's see what they have. Oh, they have some nice cards, supposedly. Let's see them. See archiver. If a monster is normal, special summon to his own link monster points. So, okay, I don't understand link monsters. This is XYZ. Ancient warriors, beast warrior effect. The ancient warriors monster can special summon from your hand. Control this face up card and head no cards in your hand at the end of the opponent's last phase, draw one card. Uh. Sanctum of Parshas. 
set spells or traps cannot be targeted by destroy by card effects. Once per turn you can target total 3 fairy monsters and encounter traps with different names in each way, place them on top of your deck and any order. Okay. This sounds interesting, yeah? to make a nice duel without uh, playing all those ridiculous cards. Alright, so what else we need? We have this, but they get a lot of those cards. Yeah? Uh, where was this bottom deep dark hole? Special summon. Yeah, I want this one. Yeah? Alright, let's... Um, Wait, where is that uh, dust tornado? Yeah? Tornado something. Uh, dust. Yeah, I have this card. That was to be a spell. It was a spell that actually. Oh, Typhoon, yeah? It was Typhoon or something. Yeah, this one. It is rare, yeah? I don't have... Uh. It's only one spell trap, so it's not worth it. Probably not worth it. Alright, let's... Um, okay, I'm, I'm playing with a DD, right? So let's see. What else can I have? Actually, this might be interesting. This one. Mm. Yeah, that might be okay. And what is this? While there are no spells in your GI, neither player can conduct a battle failure. Oh, I like that. I like that. Very good defensive card. Okay, so, alright, let's do it. Let's duel. I lost the toss coin, it's okay. Going first is dangerous. already can counter it from his hand. How? What of desires? You can only activate one pot of desires one time but he went uh, he he put 10 cards in the uh, in the banished zone yeah cool. i like his card being in the banished zone but i don't have good monsters all right let's see Alright, 
Let's see. Let's see what he's got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of cards. Because he's got two extra cards by banishing his stand, yeah? So that was probably smart. This mind drag is actually might be smart idea, yeah. Put this own card which says I cannot attack and then I forgot about it. <laughs> oh my god, that is so typical of me. Alright. What did he use? He put those cards. Ah now now I can attack, yeah. Because I have a spell card in my uh what? What is he doing? The golden lord. I like the music. Wait, what, what, what the hell? If now the controls, you can special summon those cards. And only once per turn, you can remove the equations from anyone that kills that type of one.
Jinzu is a very old monster. I remember it. In the old game, this guy, this guy here, he could negate all trap cards. He completely deactivates them. But finally we get the real game, yeah? Effects. When you take battle damage, you can special summon this card from your hand if you do end the battle phase after the damage step. Okay, Opponent ran out of cards and could not draw. Ah, good. Okay, that, that, that works. He ran out of cards and we now got four, five. Ooh. Guys, this is legacy deck by the way, okay? Legacy deck is the old Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're gonna go and cash it, okay? So let's go and cash the old legacy Yu-Gi-Oh! deck uh, stuff. We're going to the shop. So we're going to the shop. And this is legacy pack. Cash nine things, tickets, and then but you get only two cards from the old deck. Yeah, this is the old card. You can equip this to machine type monster. This is how you used to play Yu Gi Oh! in the beginning with these cards. Yeah. could only summon some level 4 or lower lower monsters and level 4 is like maximum is 17 of 1800 attack card Flip, yeah? When this card is sent to the graveyard after being flipped, each player selects one monster from the graveyard and special sums up in the face-up attack position. 
you play Yu-Gi-Oh! as a teen? Not as a teen, but I played it in the... Um, I watched it, right? I watched the cartoons in the 90s. Yu-Gi-Oh! cartoons in the 90s on uh, Saturday morning cartoons were my favorite cartoons. And so when the first game came out, it was I think in early 2000s, that's when I started playing it. Remember how you were supposed to buy those, uh, those game passes, right? Uh, with real money actually, yeah. I remember those days. And you were praying that you would get a good card. You could not make, you used to play it all the time. Ah, really? Yeah, okay. I, I actually was, I was never really good at it, but I really liked it because I really liked the cartoon. And I remember on one of the World Cups, I think it was 2005 or 2007, you know, there was a Yu-Gi-Oh! World, Ch World Championship. And it was in a completely different time zone and I had to wake up at night during the Chess World Cup to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship. Yeah, I, this was so unprofessional, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> My god, yeah, but I really loved uh, the, the show. Alright, uh, what is this? Yeah, you can summon penguin. Look at this card. Yeah, this is five star card. It has only the attack of 1800. That's how strong these cards were considered, okay? Nowadays, you can summon four or five of these things in one turn. Absolutely makes no sense. Okay? Yeah, the cartoons, especially. Um... Wait, I know this card. By the way, there should be some burn deck, right? What happened to the burn decks? I haven't seen any burn decks. What happened? Probably they just don't leave... Uh, the cards probably don't leave long enough to burn, right? Remember there were cards that were, were binding your monsters? And uh, each, uh, with each turn it will burn some of your life uh, HP points, yeah? I haven't seen any burn decks uh, in this... Exodia. I don't have Exodia. Actually, my first game here, you they have Exodia, okay? Because I played the guy in the very first duel, you know, to get ranked. And the guy played Exodia deck. And there were some new 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 cards. Which basically allowed him to just shuffle, 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 but then he misplayed something and um, you see how many healing cards were there? Also increase your life points by five. five. Yeah, this this is nothing now. Um, Toss a coin, call hands. If you call it right, draw until your hand has five cards. If you call it wrong, skip your next turn. That sucks. No. I was always very good. Yeah, my luck is very horrible, especially in the card game. One of those things. Wait, wait, wait. Activate this card at the start of main phase one if you control no monsters. If any player normal summons, that player cannot special summon the turn. If any player special summons a monster, that player cannot normal summon and set the turn. Yeah, but this is not continuous, yeah? Or you played back in 2010, 2012, maintained X Avers. That was after my time. I think I played in 2005 or 7. And then I stopped. Yeah, because it was getting very expensive, and then I really didn't like the tendency. You know, they, they, they introduced all these new synchro, you know, you know the, the chain summoning stars, right? Bounce. I miss this game. Oh, your opponent cannot special summon monsters. I like this card. I like this cards. 
Yeah, but uh, special summon is different from fusion summon, right? They can still fusion summon monsters, right? Guys, uh, fusion summon is a special summon or not? I'm always confusing these things. Yeah, this is uh, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight star, and this is twenty-five. Fusion is special, right? Okay. So if you control this card, then theoretically they cannot special summon stuff, yeah. But you need probably to tribute it, yeah. Hmm. What about link summoning? Is the same? And synchro summoning? Once it gets to synchro summons, your brain turns off. Yeah, <laughs> forget it. Uh, I, 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 you can actually practice. Yeah, uh, this this is actually a good game. I like it because first of all, you can you can dismantle all cards to get the building blocks with which you can build new cards. Okay, you don't have to pay big bucks to get a lot of stuff. You activate by declaring one monster attribute. This is actually good. Okay. Yes, old Yu-Gi-Oh was very good. I agree. The synchro stuff is just... Wait, what is this? Cannot be destroyed by card effects. Yeah, these cards, look at this card, yeah? 8 star card, 2500 defense points, the strongest cards. Alright, so, okay, so you can actually practice, okay? Uh, let's go to practice, like the solo practice. This is, I have already, uh, I passed this, okay, tutorial. You have dual strategy, then you have uh, monarch deck, elemental lord decks, ruin and demise deck. Mystery of Megalith, Pyrexine Warriors, Gladiator Beast is already hard. I'm right now studying the origins of the Karakuri. Yeah, so why don't we do this? It's, it's free star. The things on the top, you need these things to open some uh, content, which is... Uh... Alright, so let's go, yeah? So I'm just showing you, the, I, I like this game actually, um, the concept is nice, except except the multi-summon thing, right? Right, so, for example, let's watch the scenario, okay? You win the scenario, you get some Karakuri Spider, okay? What is scenario appearance cards? Okay, so this is the cards that appears. Yeah, this is free stuff, guys, this is free, okay? And you can get a lot of... Uh, uh, you don't have to pay money for this game. I mean, if you want to, you can pay, but you you can do perfectly fine without paying uh, anything because you're gonna when you when you win those duels, when you get the levels, you get the, those uh, things, everything. You get the gems. Have you heard of the term called Karakuri Anatomy? No, I haven't. What are the inner workings? How did they come to be? All one could want to know the Karakuris contained in this tome. Let's unravel the mysteries of this tome and delve into the deep world of the Karakuri. Okay, let's, let's do it. Alright, a long time ago there was a constant conflict between the nations. The turmoil was the very picture of hell on earth. In the midst of that era... You know, I like about this game, they actually now have stories, okay? They actually explain you stuff. So it's, it's pretty good. Um, I want you to develop soldiers stronger than fire arms. I want to give you all. Okay. Crucial to devices were golden gears located in the faraway country. Thus, mysterious devices of untold power were forged. The workmanship of the Karakuri was unrivaled, and the handiwork was impressive to all who beheld it. Cornerstone of armor and defense. Now they prepare for the battle. Under the command of Karakuri Shogun, Burei, the Karakuri soldiers went headlong into the battle. Okay. Alright, uh, fantastic, yeah? 
All right, let's see. See? You just watch this episode and you get some cards. And you also get to practice now. Once you practice, you get this reward, which is Fire Orb for unlocking locked chapters in the solo mode. We are doing the solo mode, okay? You can use the the the, the deck which comes with the with this, or you can use your own deck. So let's play with the Karakuri deck. Let's see what it has. Okay, some Karakuri monsters may seem weak at first glance. However, it is also supported by effects that activate when battle positions are changed or when Karakuri monsters are destroyed in battle. By focusing your strategies on the powerful Synchro monsters and using these effects to your advantage, you can easily overwhelm your opponents. Alright, let's see it. I like the music, yeah? The music is fantastic, actually. Okay, so this card is... Uh, Karakuri Kamachi MDL Nunishi. Nunishi. This card must attack if able. If this face-up card is targeted for an attack... Wait, I didn't finish the reading. Use the cards in your hand to get multiple Karakuri monsters on the field and win the duel. Alright, but uh, first summon Karakuri, which, which, okay, okay, it actually shows me which one to summon first. So, if this face-up attack card is um, changed battle position, you can normal summon one Karakuri monster in addition to your normal summon set. Alright, so, let's set this thing. You can summon one more Karakuri monster this turn. How? Karakuri Soldier, Nisamin. Okay, which, which, which card is this? And what happens? There are now tuner and non-tuner monsters on the field. Okay. Synchro summon Karakuri Shogun, Bore. By clicking this thing. And we we'll click on special summon. Uh, this thing. When this card is synchro summoned, you can special summon Karakuri from your deck. Once per turn, you can target one monster on the field and change its battle position. Okay, so we select the card. And now we. Yeah. Boom! We activated the Sharikuri Special Summon Karakuri Ninja from your deck for its high attack. How do we do that? Alright, let's activate the effect. And it shows us the ninja. The ninja has 2200 attack. Okay. Use the equip spell to special summon Karakuri Soldier from your graveyard. Wonderful. Okay. So we now summon... So they teach you how to do the summons like everybody else is doing. Karakuri Musa has high attack, but when it's chosen as the target of an attack, the its effect turns it to defense position. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Is defense is low, so attack with Karakuri Soldier Nisami. Okay. Battle. When it's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one level 4 from your deck in face-up attack position. Wow. Attack your life points directly. Okay. So we just summon three monsters. 
Okay, so we summon three monsters. So they teaching you this uh, synchro summoning, and I guess you can I can learn it. But um, so you get the uh, orb fire orbs, and now you duel using this deck. So you can win Shinkura cards, or. If you want to use your own deck, then you get to do this. Discard one spell, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Destroy the target, then look at your opponent's hand and send all targets in their hand. Wait. So you can target one face-up monster and then look at your opponent's hand with the same name as that destroyed card of the GY. That sounds awesome, yeah? I mean, imagine if you destroy all those heroes and then dark magicians, yes? It actually might work, yeah? So I, I actually, and if I use this deck, then I get this, yeah? Oh, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. But this is N, this is normal. While this card, I think it's rare. Yeah, rare cards. We need to get more rare cards because they're more expensive. So let's use my deck. Because I'm pretty sure I can beat it with my deck. Yeah, because computers are dumb. Yeah? So I'm gonna use my deck and uh, I'm gonna beat this guy. See? If I get Macrocosmos first and it's not getting killed, I have pretty good chance of winning the game. Hmm. So... I want to try and uh... yeah. Now we do this because you know this. This my deck is messing up um, special summon monster to the field. No. Yes. Probably no. Yeah, he can do this, but. Yeah, but the thing about this deck is that you start returning from the DD. Yeah. Okay, good. And now I can special summon Jinzo. Perfect. Then we're gonna go and kick ass. to cheese with people it's because we mess with the graveyard summoning stuff and we keep getting cards back oh we got second Jinzo nice So, we 
does 300 damage, yes. For each of the removed from play cards, yes. Okay, good. Oh, I like the deep plane. It's another useful card. Attacking. Boom. Boom. And boom. Yeah, but the computer doesn't understand that my card just returns, yeah? That's the thing about AI in this game. Sucks. So he has to change the position all the time. Yeah? Alright, so we beat the computer. We got the... And you're also getting this deck, okay? So I like this card. Should I get this card? But I don't have a lot of spells, yeah? Hi Vlad, this is not a game. I play Team Fight Tactics, but uh, not today. Today I wanted to, to show you this game to you guys. It's my old childhood game. But it's 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 different, but it's also um, yeah. I, just, I, I I I I still like this game. Yeah. Yeah, this is you can play solo, you can learn, you can get free cards. So I, I recommend if you if you watched Yu-Gi-Oh cartoons in the 90s and played those online games that they in those years, uh, this is for you. Okay. You don't if you don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh is, uh, you know, watch some cartoons. Uh, the the original ones, yeah, not the new ones, the original ones. Those were good. I like the music, eh? It's so oriental. games uh, they didn't have such nice look and stories yeah? yeah all right we have a clear gate and we found a new card pack okay let's see it what is the card pack oh we have karakuri all right well i'm not sure i want to Banish 8 cards from the top of your deck face down, special summon this card. Yeah. There's so many effects. 2700 attack points. Okay, let, let, I mean, let's see what, what, what comes, right? 
Select one phase up Karakuri monster control, add one level 4 low Karakuri monster from your deck to your hand and change the battle position of selected monster. Okay, actually this sounds like very interesting. Um, we have a lot of gems, yeah? So let's see. Okay, one pack, right? Let's do one pack. Open one pack and let's see what happens. Alright, you, you see this card which, which has this nice blink? It means it's a super rare card or ultra rare card. But this is also super rare. Wow. Oh, DT Assailant, yeah! I wanted this card actually, so let's go for my DD deck. It's like normal. I don't know what those tactic. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Karakuri Ninja! Okay, what is this? Steel Shogun. I think we just played it, yeah? Wait, that was a Burei. That was not Burei, though. So... Change the battle position of your monster, and if you do, negate the effect of that opponent monster until the end of this turn. Alright, this is interesting, actually, yeah? So this, this deck is probably a counter deck. It's very interesting. And you see we found a new card pack, yeah? Actually three of them. Three of them. Alright, let's go see what they have. Fusion monster control, blah blah. Two level fours. Okay, so this is, looks like a magician deck actually, yeah? I like this. Um, I wanted to get some cards for my uh, Dark Magician deck. Yeah, I like this deck. All right, let's 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 get this. Let's see what we get from the. Uh... See, these uh, special decks that open, they stay open for 24 hours, but then they close. So you have to. First time they do each of the following per turn, they draw two cards, special summon five monsters with different levels at the same time. One more, more. This sounds like fun. Oh my god, this sounds like fun, but it sounds brutal, absolutely. Yeah, elemental heroes. There is a new nah, one more pack. Alright, what is the first heroes? Oh my god, that's hero, yeah, the uh, elemental hero. I can't stand these guys. I remember this deck. Alright, so let's go to the shop and the uh, secret packs that we just found, right? What is the guardians of the sacred sky? Also, knowledge of the myth lords. What are these decks? Oh, th that's the Solemn Strike, right? That was good, yeah. That was actually a good one. Agent Monster. Master Hyperion. What is this deck with the Hyperion? Oh, it's less than Nighthood Parshad. I like this. Sanctuary in the Sky, right, right, right. That, that is actually a very old ancient deck. Okay, so let's get um, let's get rolling. This is the good deck. I like it. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got 
sword and strike. During each of your standby phases, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of face-up continuous spell cards on the field times 30. Interesting. Goddess Bow. This card is special summon. Target one other face. Uh, equip this card. While this card is equipped, negate the first effect activated by opponent during each battle phase. And equipped. This card. Uh, does it add its attack to the equipped card or not? this this is warrior so we have sword and strike right this is a good card to have all right this this is what i'm looking for you can target one face up once your opponent controls change the battle position all right that sounds good the agent of miracles Select one of you removes from play light fairy type monster and special summon it. And sanctuary in the sky. Yeah, we got it. Alright, good. So we got a nice field uh, card and we got a nice uh, monster card. So we might consider making uh, a, a fairy deck. I don't know what this is. Uh, light monster sounds good. Because the Parshar says light and fairy, yeah? You can target one face on this increase level. Plus more, we don't want. Discard one card, we don't want to do that. Right. By attributing one Air Knight Parshar, then this card attacks the inflicts. Okay. While the Sanctuary in the sky is on the field. This card gains attack defense equal to the difference in LP. Okay, this is a serious card actually. Uh, mystical Shine Ball. What is the Mystical Shine Ball? Freya, Spirit of Victory. All fairy type monsters you control gain 400 attack and defense. Nice. Magician's left hands. It's continuous spell, yeah. All right, that's spell caster. I don't know what this is. There you go. We have another air knight. When the spell trap card a monster is activated, negate the activation if you do destroy it. Oh, that's nice. This nice counter card. Change. Okay. Nice. And another sanctum. Wait, that's a different card, right? Oh, the, it becomes a sanctuary in the sky. Right, right, right. Spells, traps cannot be targeted by card effects. You can target total three fairy monsters. Okay, good. Excellent. I like the, I like, I'm starting to like this upgraded fairy deck. I'm starting to like this. I don't want zinc. Oh, six samurai also. That's very ancient. Um, add one counter trap with a different name from your GI to your hand. That sounds good. Gain 100 life points. Counter. Okay. Yeah, we saw this card already. Alright, so let me get the rest of the cards and then we can think about uh, making a new. 
Yeah, supposedly when this thing appears, it should be some super rare card or something, right? Queen Dragon one. Right. What is the point of having the level? This is new, yeah? When, the, when does the battle begin? One second. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Alright, we, we're getting a lot of... Um... Yeah, I'm too okay. Alright, let me, let, 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 let me get the cards, okay? Alright, wait, 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 what the hell is this? What is this card? Earthbound Immortal, what the hell? Oh, we got Light Monarch, by the way. Actually, interesting card. I haven't seen this one card. There's also Dark Knight Parsha, right? Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. So after this is done, let's go try to. Do you guys want me to try to make the air deck or something? Power Angel Valkyria. God, this is so cool. Thousand eye restrict. Oh, this is relinquished. Okay. My god, relinquished. Um See how many packs there are, it's like endless, alright? Um, okay, we have structured decks, alright? Uh, we have accessories, we have special, we have dual pass. And by the way, you guys see we have three missions, right? We have three missions, so when you claim all awards, you're getting gems. You can buy a lot of gems, um, you, I mean, you're getting gems all the time. So, and with the gems you can buy new packs, or you can buy also dual pass. If you buy dual pass, you can get extra content, yeah. And you can buy the C, C, R, U, R, this is the building blocks which you can use to build new cards, right? The ones that you're missing. All right, so maybe let's go build new deck, right? Do you, want, do you guys want to build new deck? You see, there are different decks. This is the starting deck that you start with, okay? When you just enter the game, this is your original deck, okay? This is your original deck. Um, 
it sucks, basically. Um, and uh, when you play solo stuff, you unlock all this, okay? Anyway, let's go back to solo, because we're not gonna fight players and we're gonna... Uh, new gate options available. Okay, so we were doing the Karakuri, right? All right, so let's uh, let's use this um, uh, Unlock And now you can uh, practice with the computer um, All right, let's play with my deck Now we're gonna do the battle, all right? So I'm gonna use my deck against the Karakuri deck. I really like this card. Activate this, and you see this. I like I like the flip cards. In the in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, you had a lot of flip cards. I use Gigan. What what Gigan? What is Gigan? Okay, wait. He's summoning. Yeah. Right, wait, what does this thing do? Alright, let's flip summon. When you flip summon you get more cards, okay? Let's do the March of the Monarchs. Uh, because then we can summon this card and this card thanks to the spell card it will be unaffected by the spell cards okay now we're gonna hit ah I cannot hit him okay. okay. alright good alright so neither side can attack until I don't use my spell and it's being put into the graveyard so he is chain summoning his whatever. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Yeah, but they still cannot attack him. Yeah? Ah, he is uh, he's killing my card. Son of a gun. Oh my god, he has killed my card. Bastards. Boom. You see he summoned three things. Bastard. Alright, let's kill all of them. Boom. Good. Okay. To attack, yeah. Counter attack. my macro cosmos because uh, the problem is I don't get it I need my current macro cosmos card oh this is bad yeah. I don't get macro cosmos and I don't get other cards he keeps getting stuff yeah. 
Adapt your card. You can adapt your deck uh, for for this opponent. I have three Macrocosmoses and I have R, but I don't have this. Yeah. I was getting Mobius. I was getting Testalus. Maybe I don't need Testalus actually. Yeah. All right. Where was that card? But I got this one. This card does is that when you you can attack your opponent card and you remove it from play, so I like it. Um, and there were also a couple of other cards like this. Can I make it? R. I don't have enough for the R. I have one more for the super R. I don't think I need it. All right, so let's do it. Yeah, so the, the, the computer sometimes kills you. That happens. I mean, when you play with the guy, game with the cards, it's all about luck. Yeah. See, now I have Macrocosmos. If I have Macrocosmos, I probably win. The problem is if I don't have Macrocosmos. That is the biggest problem. See, I get a lot of cards now, yeah. So, let's set this one. cards yes yeah so okay so we can get this good You can kill this card, I don't I don't mind. Because it's gonna come back. Yeah, 
traps are nice to have. Especially the ones that uh, send your... How many of you remember the gold sarcophagus card? Fantastic card, yeah. Let me get Pashas this actually borderline card, yeah? I don't think I need it. Actually, two solemn judgments, which is good. Means if you can activate some unfortunate cards, you can activate it. And if you can activate another card, you can activate it again. two legacy pack tickets and then given the icon I don't want the icon I want I want the gems so I'm gonna use our deck yeah the thing about this deck unfortunately it's not very reliable it doesn't have any field uh, cards and doesn't have any fusion cards but I'm pretty sure there must be some yeah. There should be some, I mean, DD cards should be using some. To see what this card does? If it basically it kills my monster, then... Uh, actually, let's put it here. Let's put it some here. Let's put it here. So if he kills my card, and I get a card. Oh my god, he, he just... Oh, he has Pedro Dastro, son of a gun. He destroys all my spells. Dastro. Oh, that's very bad news. Because I just put three cards here and he destroys all of them. Okay, he destroys that one. Oh my god. Yeah, sometimes they get really lucky like that. Nothing you can do. Yeah, that was the worst case scenario that could have happened. Do we have? 
have to fight him. Hmm. Perfect. I actually can use Mobius to destroy this uh, set card, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We have this. And we're gonna battle. Yeah, the Monarchs were the first cheapest uh, deck we had in the old Yu Gi Oh! Because these guys, you know, you continuously tribute summon them and they always uh, kill something. Yeah. But in order to summon them, you need to actually have a monster to tribute. guy again. Oh, fuck me. oh my god, he's gonna summon even something stronger. Holy shit. From two cards, right? Boom. Oh, he's summoning more stuff. gonna summon more are you serious oh, this, he just summoned two of these guys he summoned three of these guys yeah look at this bullshit guys oh this is so BS oh this is such a bullshit Because then he wouldn't be able to... Oh my god, what did I do? Shit. Oh no, no, no. I wanted to kill this guy. Alright, I lost him. Yeah. No, but uh, he killed all my cars in the beginning. He was very lucky with his uh, feather. Oh, that was so cheap, huh? Ah. That was so cheap. Alright, let's try again. Keep macro cosmos just in case he kills uh, he kills my discard, right? And then yeah, then we should be fine because now I have both the spell card and the trap card. So I can summon Jinzo probably. Oh, I have far shot. So let's summon Parsha. And let's hit him. And we get the card. It's the Parsha effect. Oh my god. When this deck when this deck works, I will absolutely love it. And we 
get more cards. Yeah, sounds good. Get more cards. Hmm. Oh, nice. We can destroy his defense, but why, you yeah? monster he still kills uh i mean um, yeah he, if he has more attack than the defense monster he still does damage to the monsters in the defensive position all right so we managed to beat this thing and we got something we got 200 gems nice so that means uh, we done the Karakuri. Let's go to the uh, Spectre. All right, this is this is solo mode. Okay, you can put you see how many solo mode uh, guide. There's so much content there. Okay, let's go and play some humans maybe, but humans are gonna kill me. Currently, we're in a gold five, which is pretty bad. Pretty bad. Okay, let's go second because if I go first, they're just gonna kill me in the second turn. I'm gonna go second. Uh -huh. card is in your GY, shuffle it and get a new card. You can only use this effect once. Okay. Of course he has Typhoon. I think he, of course, of course. Yeah. Of course they have Typhoons and everything. Face. Where is his 
game. He has only two cars. I have four cars. Now he's gonna get three cars. So the next turn I'm gonna have Macro Cosmos. Uh, Summon Sky, Ace Token, Defense Mode, and if you have three more spells than Jim, this uh, token becomes 1600. Wait, he has a lot of. He has three cars, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Destroyed my card, but that activates my discards. Does it? Done. Are you freaking done? Nope. One more. Getting more and more cards, right? This is uh, standard bullshit for you, Gil. Mm. Are you done? No, he's not done yet. He still has more to do. More summoning to do, more cards to get. He had only two cards, and now he has five cards, and he has huge. BS on the field. And he can uh, neutralize my card, yeah? Of course. No shit.
Bullshit is bullshit. See this, this guy, he can deactivate, uh, negate the effect of the spell card or whatever. Ah. All right. Um, yeah, so you see it was very important to destroy his cards and not allow them to go to the graveyard because he was manipulating a lot with the graveyard summons, yes? A lot of these decks, they, they use graveyard summons and they pull cards there, then they pull cards out, then they pull cards in, pull cards out. So this deck, my deck does, it uh, instead of the graveyard it puts the cards into the banished stone and there are very few decks which take them out yeah so i mess up i mess up their entire um their, 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 their entire summoning thing the problem is of course you know i need i need the cards like the macro cosmos or the fisher to keep stuff uh, going to the banishing zone so if they have enough spells to you know, deny these cars or I don't get them during the draw, then I'm I'm screwed, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so I got what is this? I got five champs. Cool. So I need to win one more game to go into the gold, gold tier four. So let's try to win. Uh, let's try, but Again. Yeah, I'm going second again because uh, I'm getting, I'm gonna get, I don't like being killed on the counter in the first half. It's very, very possible in this game. 
So let's see, do I get Macro Cosmos? Or at least I got a Fisher, yeah? So that's nice. So let's see how that works. I also got a Feather Duster. A Feather Duster for a change. So that means... We got the, the same icons. <laughs> okay. Um, right. The Grand Convergence. So let's see, he's thinking, yeah? A Resonator Monster, what does he do? What does he do? What do Resonator Monsters do? Let's see. Wait, what was that card? If you control no monsters, uh, you can special summon up to two Resonator Monsters from your hand or deck. If you control exactly one Dragon Synchro Monster. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck, except Dark Dragon's Synchro Monsters. My god, okay. Uh... <laughs> synchro summons, yeah. Alright, so... So he is, he is summoning this shit. Alright, fine. Because this is dark, yeah? This is Finn, he has a dark monster. So he's got one dark monster, he's got this thing, so he's ready to synchro summon whatever. Yes, and he does it, okay, good. Don't walk her. Wow, he summoned three things, so he's gonna summon now because of these three things. He's, he, he's ready to summon something big, yeah? So you see what I'm saying? On turn one, he already summoned three monsters. <laughs> A ridiculous thing. Absolutely ridiculous. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, so... Gonna something that is probably gonna negate my um, what does this thing do? You can destroy as many special summon effect monsters on the field as possible with attack less than or equal to this card and inflict 500 damage. You can destroy as many special summon effect monsters for each monster destroyed. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's still turn number one, okay? And he is still making moves. He summoned uh, three monsters, then he summoned Mega Monster, now he summoned two more monsters. Um, wonderful, yeah. So the guy summons four monsters in one turn. Oh my god, and he now summons something Mega Super Duper, yeah. <laughs> and then he uses four monsters to summon the... <laughs> you guys see it in one turn. He summons basically... <laughs> the unbeatable monster, yeah? Yeah, in the old Yu-Gi-Oh! they used to have a time limit for all the summoning, okay? 
was not 480 seconds, it was much less than this. And then he got... Uh, okay. Yeah. See? See what's wrong with this game? Is that people do shit like this. So I need... Uh, this is not a bad card. just go straight to the banish zone and he'll be done but I don't have these cards you yeah. know I can try to destroy the effect with my trap but he has five fucking cards see this yeah that's it that's it and he has a Feather Duster, yeah? He has not only manipulated uh, for 5 minutes in one round, he also has this Feather Duster card. He just completely annihilated everything, so there is no point to play. Uh, this is bullshit, of course. Because you don't get to play at all, yeah? yeah but there's nothing you can do about it. This is the state of modern game like this. card that would uh, kill his uh, monster then I don't have it I don't know you guys see the names right you see the names on the top it's some Korean Japanese something yeah great another special polymerization gonna be another five minutes until he is done with his turn one so we started with five cards and now he has one two three four five six seven eight cards yeah yes eight cards he got like two extra cards because of all his uh, machinations That's why they're doing it. But I'm not gonna get one. Yeah, I'm gonna get some stupid uh, monarch card, which I probably don't need. Yeah, 
this this card Kobe I need to trade, yeah? Or something else because it's useless. My deck is useless. Oh my god, he's got a field. Well, 
Wait, I only need half trap for it. I need more of these things to destroy his cards. This only works when I have Macrocosmos, I don't think. So I need more cards to destroy the uh, monsters on the table. Good or yeah, something like this. Yeah. For sure. Or smash him. Yeah. Dynamite, I need to change it also, yeah. It's not gonna do a lot of damage. Not my case. Yeah, so DT Dynamite also has to go. We get some trouble. Oh, he's using the same deck.
you're getting this fuel card like in the first two turns. Kicking butt and taking names. no cards in his hand. That's a good thing. It means uh, I know what he is doing. So he has uh, the cards in here.
10 cars, so that's 3000 damage. Oh, excellent! We have 3000 damage, so he's, uh, he should be dead, yeah? Because he has precisely 10 cards. Ah, I see. Okay, we won. Yes, Mr. Passionate Chess Player, that's correct. <laughs> yeah, but... You know how hard it is to get that? I don't have to play the game. We both know how hard it is to get that. current decks they can just negate your uh, drawing with the cards from their hands amazing but true wait what is this Grota Goras, thank you for the read, man. See, they just activate their things. That's it. Nobody cares. From the hand and everything, yeah. HSL. be destroyed by an opponent's card effects. Oh, okay. Of course. Of course it cannot be destroyed, yeah? Nope, not anymore. Jinzo is, uh, is, uh, is completely different now. 
Yeah, they, 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 that's such bullshit. You know, they they can summon the uh, on first turn they can do a lot of machinations and they can summon the monster, which can then stop your cards from activation. That is such an idiotic thing to do. Yeah, it's just an idiotic thing to do. Unbelievable. And of course they do that, yeah? They summon like four monsters, including one that stops uh, activation of your cards or whatever. So you, you can't do anything. That's ridiculous. Alright, I've got Microcosmos. Good. Hopefully that will stop. Yeah, if I don't get macro cosmos, then they start doing all that uh, thing. Can you use lava golem? The cost is to sacrifice not in guilty. Passionate chess player. I haven't seen burn decks yet in this game. Uh, there probably should be some, yeah? But I haven't seen one yet. Probably didn't come across. I only am playing for the third day, yeah? I installed this game like three days ago. So I wanted to show this game to you guys so you can enjoy it also. Wait. He already has one fusion monster and he already has field card and he has a monster... Wow. Already three, three monsters and the field card on the... Uh, what? Special summonets. Jesus Christ, he summoned four. Oh my god. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious, man? <laughs> you guys see this? On the first turn. Um Really? Oh my god. Dude, you're professional. Then you should start playing again because they have it, this game came out like in January, okay? It's like brand new. This one. Uh it's called uh Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel or something. Fantastic. All right, so let's see. Um, you can target, edit, you can only use each effect. Okay. What can I do with this? Okay, let's activate the effect. And let's destroy all the spell cards. Download it, it's on Steam. Steam, uh, and it's free, okay? And remember how we used to pay money to buy the, the packs to draw the cards from? Now you don't have to do that. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so he does that, okay, let's do that. So he has to work this shit.
Snake is gonna summon again. Yeah. Oh my god, he's, he's getting all these things. So he wants to probably summon something to annihilate my trap card, right? And he drew three cards. Great. Great, man. He drew three more cards. After all those machinations, yeah? What a game. The good thing is that a lot of his cards have gone into the banished zone. And now he used more to get his cards into the banished zone. Okay. Um. So what does it do? What does this card do again? Keep summoning and summoning and summoning. Lance code token. What the fuck does it do? Reveal monster in your hand and add one monster with the same attribute from your deck to your hand. You cannot activate monster effects for the rest of this turn except cyber monsters. You can activate. So he gets another card from his deck to his hand. Yet another card. Ah. Literally, it takes sometimes five minutes for them to finish their turn. Finally, he is attacking something. That's no, not gonna work. Can I destroy this? Wait, that's the other one, yeah? See, I cannot use this card, yeah? This card does something, it prevents me from doing something. Your opponent cannot target any of them with card effects. Really? While this card is cool linked... Alright, so we need to break the link. Ooh. 
What is this? This is a uh, new Yu-Gi-Oh game. That's what it is. So he's gonna try to summon more stuff. Alright, what does this thing do? When your opponent activates a trap card, you can tribute this card, negate that card's effect, and if you do, banish it. If this card is in your GI, great. More cards which deny me the effect. Great. Oh my god. Uh, I need the spell card that destroys all his monsters. Fast. Except that this card prevents me from using this card. And this card is made so I cannot use any trap cards because he can tribute this card and then prevent the activation of the trap card. So I need to destroy this card somehow. I don't know how. So as long as this card is here, I cannot activate trap cards, yeah? So I need to attack this card with this card then. When a link monster is uh, destroyed by battle. Okay. Thirteen cards in his uh, rigging uh, thing. Oh my God, he has more of those link summons. Magic cylinder? I don't think it exists. Wait, what did he do? Yes, I got a new gaming PC, Mr. The Great Dantone. How are you, man? <coughs> Magic Cylinder. All right, Mr. Passionate che uh, che Chess Player. I play him this uh, game only for three days. Uh, I've got some solo missions. I've got some structured decks, but I'm far from, you know, completing this. Yeah, there is like the, the game is just barely scratched. I think. There's like so much more to it. It's okay. Alright, so let's see. Can this card be destroyed? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, again? Seriously? Oh my god, fuck this.
see I made a mistake activating this trap card and this card blocked it yeah the first time each cybers uh, you control will be destroyed by a card effect it's not destroyed only once per turn so he is blocking a lot of things oh my god uh. timing for Mobius Monarch, right? Perfect timing, I think. Ooh, we destroyed his field card and we destroyed this fusion monster. Perfect. Wow. So he's gonna try to kill this guy. He's gonna try to fusion another thing, right? My god, he has 16 cards in his fusion deck. Jesus Christ, I need, I need my trap card, which... Uh, AI needs you. Again? Oh, so he's gonna summon something big? Yeah, I think so. AI meet you? What? How many AI meet you? Oh, he's summoning some something there. Huge. What is that? Detach one material from this card. What is the one material from this card? He uses this material from this card. So. trap card I don't have it wow this is the new Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. this is a situation where I really need my trap 
card, which hits his uh, life points directly. He keeps chaining stuff, you yeah. know. He keeps chaining stuff, man. Sucks. So he needs to hit me only once. More than 2,000. Casinos. No, not at all. Alright, summon. Really good thing. And we win! Holy shit. We beat this five minute shuffler. Beat this guy who was shuffling for five minutes each turn. Unbelievable. And we get what is this? Empress Judge. What? He be Kimi. No idea. Most importantly, we got Legacy Pack tickets. Legacy Pack ticket is. Um, the old uh, Yu-Gi-Oh decks, okay? Like you go to the shop. Oh, I completed five missions. Um, so let's get uh, 40 gems. Good. And what else we got? And we got another 350 gems. Nice. With the gems you can buy... Um, and you also get the um, pop, 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 what do I have here, 30 gems, CPA, CPR. This is the super rare cards which you can use, you get only 14. And this is for the normal cards, okay? So you get the building blocks of these cards, you can dismantle cards also. So for example, if you go to the shop, uh, there is a secret pack which only opens when you hit the certain card and it shows you this pack and it see it's timer, right? It's 22 hours or something. I actually need to do par shots later. Um, burrito? All right, anyway, so you see this is legacy pack. The cards that wrote the history. This is the cards that have been used since the beginning, okay? And you can get them only with the legacy tickets. And you get only two cards compared to the uh, eight cards you usually get for the uh, modern uh, packs. So you get only two cards here. Legacy pack. Play my chapter season one. I believe you, man. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Is this six samurai? Oh my God! It's Ben K. Guys, you remember those decks where you were building this guy? Or there was this guy. You know, he was attacking the number of times, the number of equipped cards. Uh, we're attached to this guy. Remember everybody was playing this cheap uh, deck <laughs> I was also playing this cheap deck, you know, I got so many wins with this uh, deck What was that guy uh, name, right? Remember? You remember it, right? 
you have like six um, equip cars attached to this guy he gets like mega attack and then you hit as many times like five or six times and you destroyed absolutely everything yeah it was I think it was uh, yeah you see it's like exactly this card right Ben K oh my god this is the oh my god I got this card right 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 oh I'm gonna have so much fun with this card it gains one additional attack during each battle phase so we need to find the um, the, the the equip cards now this is gonna be fun uh, Ben K yeah oh yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. We got the Ben K guys. This is like brings memories. Oh yeah. I'm so happy I got this card. Alright, so now I need to work on the partial deck and on this deck, okay? Alright, so I wanted to show you guys this uh, new game. Okay, hopefully you can get it. And try it, okay? It's it's super cool. It's free, and again, uh, if you want to buy like normal pack, master pack, see each uh, pack costs hundred gems. Ten packs cost thousand gems, and you get gems by you know fulfilling missions, uh, raising your rank, and etc. etc. They also tell you the odds and details of the packs, okay? Uh, so there, and there's so many different packs actually. Yeah. So a lot of packs. Yeah. So I I I want this partial pack. All right, guys. I've been streaming for a long time today. It's uh, I started streaming at five. Right, because that's when my first title Tuesday started at five in the afternoon, and now it's five in the morning. So I've been streaming for a hell of a lot of hours today. So I'll see you guys and hopefully you enjoyed it. We enjoyed some chess and enjoy some gaming today. All right. And I'll see you guys. Thank you for staying. Good night, everybody.